All right, I'm going to answer a question that I get constantly and I hear all the time. And I hear this when I am listing a property from clients or when I'm educating students on how to buy property or even when I'm talking to investors just casually. Why are they selling? And I don't think sometimes that question is asked with the appropriate response um, in mind, right? So really, why are they selling? The truth is you don't care. Um, your biggest, your best outcome in this is will they entertain owner financing? Seller financing, is it an option? Uh, that's the bottom line. Because if they're selling just because they're tired of it and they want the cash, eh, that's cool. Uh, but if they're selling because they're having a tax problem, that makes owner financing a lot better. So the odds of them carrying 10, 20, 30%, whatever it is, is more likely. If they need the cash today, that's, all, that's gonna pose a problem. So those are real, that's really the biggest reason why you're asking that question. Why are they selling? All you care about is, can they finance me on this deal? Now, there's another way of looking at this, uh, but you have to listen very carefully. So a lot of times, if it's not uncommon for uh, commercial uh, real estate owners to have four or five properties and thousands of dollars of cash flow every month, right? But it's all about the way it's presented to them. Not everybody knows what uh, owner financing is. Not everyone knows that uh, these are options to uh, reduce a lot of uh, tax implications. It needs to be explained to them and it has to be the right person. Now, if it's a, a situation where it's a husband, wife, husband dies and you're dealing primarily with the wife or maybe the wife's attorney, um, that might be a little bit easier. Maybe she doesn't need all the cash right now. Um, the owner financing might be an option, right? If it's another situation where, listen, it's a divorce, they got to have all the cash right then and there, then owner financing really doesn't. You know, that, that, that's kind of off the table. So the reason you really want to ask this question, why are you selling? You're trying to get to, will you help me uh, with financing? That's the bottom line. And there's a couple ways you can do this. And um, I've actually talked about other creative ways to introduce owner financing, but you always ask for it. Uh, even if they say no, I always ask for it on every contract, every single time, even 5%, 10%. Uh, on a million dollar deal, 5% is not very hard to get. And uh, sometimes they'll say no. Uh, they have nothing to do with it. They don't want anything to do with it. And they'll say, forget it. We're not going to finance no matter what. Um, but sometimes uh, you'll be surprised. 5% uh, goes a long way. It doesn't sound like it, but it does. And um, the banks typically are okay with seeing 5 or 10%. Now, um, how you structure the deal depends on who's doing the majority of the financing and the, the stage of the investment, right? Um, if they've had the property for 15, 20 years and they're just kind of over it, you're, from what I've seen, you can get a lot more favorable terms. Now, that doesn't mean they're just gonna, you know, let you roll over them and give you whatever. But a lot of times if um, it's their second year of owning it and their uh, dream is a nightmare, they're probably not the, the right qualified candidate. Uh, it really does depend on the way you position it and what you're looking for at the end. So short-term financing, 5% usually is not that tough to get. So I always ask for it, every single contract. Um, try to push for 10. Sometimes they'll scale you back to five. But if you ask for it on the initial LOY, uh, that's going to be much, much easier to, to get into because what I've seen is a... Uh, a mistake a lot of investors do, they'll try to get the deal and then in their inspection period, they'll go back and they'll try to get financing from the owner. Well, by that time, you're changing the terms. It makes it a little tougher. See, it's different asking for a repair credit. You're saying, hey, look, I ran the inspection and your roof is just not working out. I'm gonna need some help with it. Now, try, uh, you renegotiating the deal. If you're saying, well, I know I said I was gonna put 20% down, but I can only put 10%. I need you to help me with the other 10. 
to a seller, that's kind of like, uh, you know, what happened? So that's not a very good position to be in or put someone else in. So really, why are they selling? Try to phrase that into, uh, will you entertain uh, owner financing? And if not, what are the reasons? So if they say their situation doesn't allow it, that's fine, not a big deal. But you wanna go after those deals that uh, there's high likelihood. And right now, uh, a lot of investors are trying to get their chips off the table. So if you make them a very lucrative offer, there's no reason why they wouldn't give you owner financing. All right, I hope that helped. I'm Tim Diesel. If you guys have any questions on anything, please let me know.